What's up, bozos? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be on NBA 2K22, and I'm going to put the all-time best NBA criminals on a team and seeing if they can win an NBA championship together. I was given this idea in my Instagram DM, so if I get in trouble for making this video, I'm canceling that guy with me. Before I reveal the roster, the players I chose committed crimes above marijuana possession and below the crimes of Karl Malone, and all of these players will have played from 2000 and on because from what I've heard, half the league was doing hard drugs in the middle of the games back then. First up, we got Tony Allen when he wasn't locking people up on the court he was avoiding getting locked up himself he's the first but not the last on this list to be accused of domestic abuse and if that's not enough he was charged with conspiracy to commit health care and wire fraud next we got the high flyer jason richardson he had a domestic abuse case where he made a hole in the wall with his ex-girlfriend's head next up we have greg odin who was charged with two domestic felonies our first non-domestic case is Jonas valanchunas who was charged with a dui and this is going to be a common theme throughout these charges none of these crimes are that funny but if i had to choose one this would probably be it Kyle Lowry was playing in a recreational game during the NBA lockout and wouldn't stop throwing a basketball at a referee for making some bad calls. Zach Randolph takes a lead for most crimes committed. His rap sheet includes possession of stolen property, driving under the influence, street racing, and he was accused of being involved in a drug ring. One wholesome case on this list is Karan Butler, who was in and out of jail 15 times before turning the age of 15. But he cleaned up his act, had a great NBA career, and never had an issue with the law again. This team is going to be a defensive judge or not with the paint being held down by defensive player of the year Ben Wallace, although his car lost some paint after he drove into a fence and fled the scene. Draymond Green was arrested for slapping a Michigan State football player in the face. If you're into NBA history, you should know about this one. Gilbert Arenas had a Mexican standoff in an NBA locker room with a teammate. He had four guns on him at the time and was suspended for the rest of the season and ended up serving two days in jail. He was also arrested for driving without a license and carrying a concealed weapon. And there was also a time he was interfering with an arrest of his teammate and was quoted for saying, you can't arrest me, I'm a basketball player. He was then arrested. Carmelo Anthony was arrested for DUI and his mugshot and NBA photo look oddly similar. Jason Kidd pled guilty to spousal abuse and driving under the influence after he crashed into a utility pole. And the star player of the team, Allen Iverson, he was involved in a large fight at a bowling alley and was specifically accused of knocking a woman out with a chair. However, AI's charges were dropped after a lack of evidence and it seemed like AI was being sentenced for his stardom and due to the racial undertones of the fight. So I wouldn't have put him on the roster if it weren't for his 14 other charges and his sweet crossover. So I'm going to put this team on the Rockets, the worst team in the league according to their record. And then I put them in GM mode except the league is only going to include the teams in the NBA playoffs right now and the Cavs. I also turned off trades and injuries. We're going to have to do some rebranding since we're a completely new team. I decided to move the team to Oakland, California since it is close to the notorious San Quentin State Prison. I'm also going to rename the team the Oakland Inmates. I looked through about a thousand images for a new logo but none of them are resonating with me. I started looking through the latest uploads and I keep finding selfies of this random guy. I looked through this creator's images and ended up choosing this beautiful man. I don't know if there's some reference I'm missing here or it's just some random Italian, but either way, I like it. Our jerseys needed some updating too, so I made this beautiful black and white prison uniform, which honestly isn't a bad look. And for our away jerseys, we have the classic orange jumpsuit. I updated the arena because I want my players to feel at home and have a strong home court advantage. So I did my best to make the floor look like concrete. I then made the rest of the paint government issued piss yellow. And I put some team slogans on the court, which are, I'm good to drive, I got this, and and we are innocent. The starting lineup for this team is Jason Kidd at the point, AI at the shooting guard, Carmelo at the small forward, Draymond at the four, and Ben Wallace at the center. We're running a small ball lineup, but I'm sure our overwhelming physicality will win us some games. I simulated to the all-star break, and we are number one in our conference, but losing a fair amount of games. Ellen Iverson is our leading scorer, and I also have four players averaging one or more LiAngelo balls per game, so our defense is looking solid. Come playoff time, and we are still the number one team in our conference. The rankings are much different in the East. The Nets have the number one seed, it probably helped that the injuries were off so Ben Simmons and Kyrie spent more time playing basketball than Call of Duty, and the Suns were the one team in the West to not make the playoffs, so it looks like it's time for Chris Paul to give his wife a black eye if he's serious about wanting to win a ring. The East is looking completely unrealistic, the Bulls swept the Bucks, the Hawks beat the Heat in 7, and Philly beat Boston in 5. We took our first loss while playing in Denver, this doesn't surprise me, we do have some drug related charges on this squad, but we ended up beating the Nuggets in 5 and are facing the Memphis Grizzlies in the conference championship. The 
Nets moved on in six games and we beat Memphis in five. We had a 3-1 lead on the Nets, but I made sure to force two wins for the Nets so we could get a game seven. I'm going to go in and watch this game to see how my criminals can handle the only other super team in the league. This really looks like a game being held in a prison because my fans seem to be wearing jumpsuits. Ali LaForce must have done her homework on her charges as she's reporting safely by the Nets bench. And it seems like Ben Simmons is in his postseason form as he is standing awkwardly to the side in his street clothes. The Nets win the tip and they quickly take the lead as Joe Harris comes off the screen and hits the three. Jason Kidd quickly responds by pushing Kyrie Irving out of his way and getting a bucket in the paint. Andre Drummond is looking like the star of the Nets as he drives right by the defensive player of the year and scores an easy layup. The inmates tie up the game at seven as Carmelo Anthony kicks it out to AI for a three. Gilbert Arenas is dribbling down court and makes Kyrie touch the flat earth and goes in for a dunk. Gilbert isn't done assaulting the Nets. He tries for another dunk but gets fouled. The inmates have the lead but Kyrie breaks Gilbert Arenas and kicks it out to Lamarcus Aldridge for an open three. Kyle Lowry checked into the game. He came off the screen and distracted Nick Claxton with his big booty. He had to cover up his excitement while Kyle got himself an open layup. Arenas made another jumper before the end of the quarter putting up the inmates 12 to 15. The inmates came out on a tear as Allen Iverson hit a three-pointer extending the lead to six. He also randomly g-checked Kevin Durant on defense. Daddy chill. Durant tried responding, but that was blocked into the stands. What a snag by the usher. The Bears better draft him before Belichick sees us. Andre Drummond is going to carry this team to victory at this rate. He blocked Ben Wallace on an open dunk. He then goes on to catch an alley-oop from behind him, but the inmates respond with an alley-oop of their own as Greg Oden catches a lob and actually dunks it. At the end of the first half, the inmates have an eight-point lead. Allen Iverson is leading them with eight points and one assist. And to no real surprise, Andre Drummond is leading the Nets with six points and four rebounds. And Andre Drummond isn't done. He catches a lob which goes out but he's so bad that it goes in. Ellen Iverson might rack up another felony for what he does to Seth Curry here. He breaks him down twice but thankfully he misses so those charges will be dropped. And the small ball is not working out against the modern day Shaq, Andre Drummond. He blocks Draymond Green here back to back. And it seems like this sparked a bit of a run for the Nets. Ben Simmons is driving down but finds Kyrie Irving open for a three-pointer. Drummond snags a ball out of mid-air here blocking Draymond Green. Gilbert Arenas is in shambles here. He drives on Andre Drummond and he easily sends that back. The Nets get the lead down to two as Ben Simmons finds Joe Harris open for a three-pointer. But the inmates quickly respond as Carmelo Anthony finds himself wide open off a of screen. But the Nets Nets aren't backing down, LaMarcus Aldridge finds himself with Kyle Lowry guarding him. I wish that were me, but LaMarcus scores on him in the paint. And the Nets aren't done having their way with Kyle Lowry, they score another two-pointer right on top of him. At this point, Kyle Lowry just needs to get out of the game. He's blocked by Ben Simmons, and the Nets find Joe Harris open for a three, and they take a two-point lead with three and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. But Allen Iverson drives to the left and ties the game at 41. Kevin Durant decides to show up with less than three minutes remaining in the game as he dunks over Draymond Green. This is a chaotic position possession here. Carmelo gets blocked which leads to a Nets fast break. Kyrie is ball hogging and ends up getting blocked but that goes right in the hands of Seth Curry who finds Kevin Durant wide open for a three extending the lead to five points. Allen Iverson has been abusing Seth Curry all game. He gets another easy two. Kyrie is trying to find his star player Andre Drummond but it is intercepted. Carmelo gets the ball down court and gets a tough finish in traffic. Kevin Durant gets blocked but gets his own miss. He has AI guarding him who is 10 inches shorter than him but just like I tell myself every morning it's the motion of the ocean that matters KD misses the inmates take a one point lead with just over a minute left in the game Kyrie Irving has a chance to take back the lead but he goes for a two for one and takes a heavily contested jumper Draymond then passes the ball right past Michael Jordan's head and Ben Wallace dunks it extending the lead to three with 25 seconds left in the game the Nets called a timeout and ran a classic Steve Nash play Kevin Durant chucked up a jumper in traffic and it happened to go in the Nets were forced to foul and sent Carmelo Anthony to the line and he hit both free throws but with all this star power on the court, I'm sure the Nets can find an open shot. Never mind, Kyrie decided to throw the ball back to Joe Harris at half court and he just bombed a three pointer, which missed. And that'll do it. The Oakland inmates are the NBA champions. They won 53 to 48. Our logo is popping up on the screen, which now looks threatening. I guess the Golden State bandwagoners snuck in last minute as they are now on the court in Rockets gear. Ellen Iverson was awarded finals MVP. He averaged 26 points, 5.6 assists, and 2.4 rebounds a game. Nobody else really had a stand out performance on the inmates but Andre Drummond came to play he had eight points ten rebounds and six blocks on 100% shooting and it seems like the only wanted poster going out today is for Kyrie Irving as he shot three for 12 from the field but that's gonna do it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed remember that driving while impaired and domestic abuse is bad and if you were to do those at the same time that would be really bad I love you guys and I will see you in the next one